Welcome back, everybody. You know it can be hard to make big life decisions, and sometimes we could all use a little help. With that in mind, it's time for Life Coach with Bill Burr. Life Coach with Bill Burr. Wow. I love that. Life Coach. <laughs> uh, I'm joined now by Life Coach Bill Burr. Thank you for being that here, That might Bill. be the height of this segment, that little song. <laughs> no, no. Here's what, let me explain what we did. We had viewers send in some questions that they need your coaching on. Uh, and I'd, I'd love for you to give some tough advice. And if I feel That's like... That's right. I'm, if you can't I'm, afford a professional, ask someone with no degree. Let's do it. <laughs> here we go. The first one says, uh, I'm ready to take the next step with my boyfriend and move in together. But he says he can't because he's allergic to my cat. I love my cat. I can't get rid of her. What should I do? Well, it's great that you love your cat because your boyfriend doesn't love you. All right? If he loved you, he would have moved in with you. <laughs> or if he loved you at that level. If, like, if I met, when I met my wife, the woman in my dreams, if she had a cat and I was allergic to it, I would have figured something out. <laughs> I wouldn't have been like, listen, you're the one for me. I think about you all the time. But you got a cat, so... <laughs> I think he's saying uh, he enjoys having sex with you, but he doesn't want to go any further. So, yeah, you know. Wow. I, I hope you that. got a nice cat. There you go. Uh, hey, number two, I'm getting married in June, but I think I'm in love with my coworker, Josh. I don't oh, want to right. break my fiance's heart and upset our families, but I'm afraid that if I go through with it, I'll regret it. Help. Yeah, you don't marry the guy. Yeah. All right? And I don't even think you're in love with the guy you're working with i just think yeah me neither you're not in love you just you don't want to do this you know what the problem is jimmy is they never teach you how to break up with somebody okay so this person has probably wanted to get out of this relationship for what would you say at least a year yep maybe two so what this person really needs is help on how to break up so what you got to do is you, all you say is we need to talk and then when he sits down just say look i don't want to marry you just get it out there. Now the Band-Aid's been ripped off, and whatever he's going to do, it's going to crush him. It's going to break his heart. But it would be way worse if you broke his heart a couple decades and a couple of kids from now. You know? So just just get out of it. This is I don't want to marry you. Yeah, I totally agree. And, you I know, that. bang that guy at work, but you don't love him either. <laughs> Uh, I just moved in with my girlfriend and she snores terribly. I don't want to offend her by sleeping in another room, but I also want to get to sl some sleep. What should I do? Um, stop thinking that women are so precious. All right, they're human beings, they're just like men. They make a lot of mistakes and they also have faults. The fact that like this dynamic when you get in a relationship that women can basically say you know, anything you need to work on, they're going to bring it up. But you have to approach it like the end of an action movie, like which wire can I snip so this thing doesn't blow up? You got to sit there and say, listen, you know, I'm not saying I don't love you. I'm not saying I don't care about you, but you sound like a dump truck full of peat moss backing up every night. <laughs> and I can't get to sleep. So something's got to give. I don't want you to wear a scuba mask. <laughs> you know, so can I just sleep in the other room? Yeah, or can we get like a breathe right strip? There's things we can yeah. do. There's Your things. Your snoring is as ugly as you are beautiful. Honey, I have to sleep down the hall. <laughs> this is a great exercise, though, because there's this whole narrative out there that guys are just these, these a holes to their girlfriend, like every one of us. And most guys are like this guy, where it's like you're afraid, hey, I don't want to say anything. But, you know, your mom pushed my kid down the stairs the other day. I don't want to offend you. So it's like, you just got, you got to get it out there. Just say, listen, you are, yeah. dude, my wife, if my wife snores, I just take my foot and I slowly push her out of the bed. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> my son says my. She does it to me too. She'll just wake <laughs> me up. She'll just be like, you got to get out of here. I know, gosh. My snoring, she's like, yes, get out of here. And she like hands me the pillow in, 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 the, in the comforter. I don't wake up the next day upset with her. No. Honesty. Uh, 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 my roommate keeps leaving dishes in the sink and forgets to wash them. He doesn't even wipe off the food. I've already talked to him about it twice, but he keeps doing it. How do I get him to change? All right, first of all, you got to address the honesty of the situation. He doesn't keep forgetting. 
what happens is, is you keep washing his dishes. All right. And you're not calling him on his. <laughs> so base. Oh, sorry. You're not calling him on his business. So I would say, yeah, you know, yeah, he you forgets beat to wash guy up? Can you beat this guy up? Because okay. if you can, you can just threaten. Vi you can use the, the threat of violence. <laughs> if you don't do this, I'm going to beat the <laughs> out of you, which for some reason, you're not allowed to say that anymore, despite when somebody needs an ass kicking. So, to Jimmy, we got to go more progressive here. Yeah. OK, but this, leaving so, dishes in the sink, this is a you I would him. just start scraping the food off his plate and put it in his pillowcase. But I'd be nice and I'd leave a post-it. I'd say, hey, you know, you keep forgetting your food in the plate. So I figured I'd put it in a place where you'd remember it. <laughs> so don't do it and not say that you did it, because then you're going to look like some, you know, chick who keyed his car. You got to you gotta let him know you did it. And then when he comes yeah. out, and just be like, listen, I'm not your mate, and you're not forgetting, and I'm not cleaning up after you. You yeah. do it again. I'm going to take the biggest plate I can find that you used or I used, and I'm going to smash it over your head. And I hate to say that, but violence is the only thing that people like that understand. <laughs> the threat of violence. I, I want to do this all night my long. new self-help book. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. This is the last one here. I just figured I'd say this because you... Okay, I know you out of everybody, that guy bugged me the most. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I lived with a guy like that. Yeah, forget to wash them. Um, I'm bringing this up because, gosh, you have a, a beautiful, uh, you have two babies. You have a beautiful little uh, four-year-old. So this one is, it says, my five-year-old daughter, Emma, refuses to eat her vegetables. All she wants is dessert. If I try to hide the vegetables in other foods, she just picks them out and throws them on the floor. Please help. All right, this is what happens. Sometimes when you love your kids so much, you're afraid to discipline them. And you've literally gotten to, like, Reading that question, I understand it as a parent, but also it's kind of hilarious that you're acting like this five-year-old girl can beat the crap out of you, okay? You're the parent, she's the kid. You tell the kid that they have to sit there until they finish their vegetables, and dessert should be something that they occasionally have. So um, you have to undo what you did, which was you let this kid get away with murder. The fact that that kid is throwing vegetables on the floor and you're tolerating it, <laughs> It's your own damn fault. The kid's acting like it has its own sitcom series. It doesn't. All right? It's not paying any rent. It has no it has, it has no bargaining chips. The kid's not unboxing toys or anything. Nothing. Yes, yes. It's not Ryan's world. Okay? Ryan can throw his vegetables. My daughter loves that show. It's one of the few times I ever lied to my daughter. She goes, can we watch Ryan? I go, no, he's sleeping. <laughs> Because he's sleeping in the TV, and I couldn't do it. I finally just said, listen, Daddy can only handle 20 minutes of that show. Sorry. All right? I can watch Bugs Bunny all day long. I can watch Sesame Street. There's jokes in it for me, too. All right? I actually watch Ryan's World, and I get fascinated with the parents, their level of energy. Yes, like me too. Like how they sit there in a, in a five-, six-year-old mindset all day long. I mean, I get it. They're all making cash, but good Lord, I feel bad for them. <laughs> um, to be honest with you, I don't want to jinx Ryan, but I don't think that marriage is going to last. <laughs> but anyways, getting back to this little kid here with the vegetables, <laughs> uh, you just have to, you're going to have to sit through some epic meltdowns and you're just going to have to make him, uh, make her eat the vegetables. And you're doing a good thing because this kid is going to become uh, a fat person. If they're not eating uh, vegetables and other kids are going to be mean to them, no matter how many little positive things are out there on social media, that's what happens. So, uh, you know, you need to get this kid shredded <laughs> so the kid can go out in the world <laughs> have a chance when it turns six. To shred it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I get it because my, uh, you know, my daughter manipulates me pretty well, but not to that level of like, if I have like a line and, and a kid starting to throw food on the ground, that's just like, that. that's not happening. Uh, gosh, not happening. dude, th this has been unbelievable. And I'm not even just saying this, unbelievable. I, I thought the bit was gonna be fun, but I, it was beyond fun, it was funny, but it was also so, it was just very you. So, I loved it. It's very smart. I really appreciate it. This is fantastic for all these people. They're very lucky. They got a life coach with Bill Burr.
We'll talk more hey, with Bill later in the show. Whenever you want to do it, Jimmy, I got the time. This pandemic <laughs> has just opened up my schedule. To the best of my knowledge. Uh, uh-huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on.